Okay, so here we are starting to uh, paint the uh, kit and priming it with Alter Mo Modeling Primer. Uh, what I'm going to do is spray the uh, starboard wing first so that it's dry for when I can get hold of it and do the rest of it. So, uh, I just spray that first and then I'll do all the uh, little parts that are on sticks and what have you. Spray them up so they get a nice coating of primer. And this is in, speed it up quite a bit, otherwise it'd probably be very boring. Uh, as you can see, here's, here's all the uh, undercarriage, uh, exhaust, basically all the, just the ancillary parts that goes onto the aircraft. So the ultimate modeling primer, I've uh, thinned it down a bit with um, the ultimate thinners and I but a, but a, a put a bit of flow improver in as well. So now I'm spraying the rest of the aircraft to give it a good coat so it shows up any flaws in the uh, plastic where I may, may have missed sanding the seams down and what have you so as you can see it's nearly all done and it gives a good base for uh, the rest of the paints that you're going to paint it with oh, and I've, uh, I've shoved some sponge into where the undercarriage goes because I've already painted that aluminium and I don't want uh, any paint to go in there. And I've masked up the canopy, canopy as well with Tammy masking tape and a sharp knife. So uh, we're coming to the end of this section. Nearly, nearly painted it all and let it dry. And then we'll spray the sky. Okay, so um, a quick update. I just painted the uh, undersides with this that came in the box, Umbral 90 uh, Sky. Uh, thinned it with Umbral Finish and a bit of airbrush flow improver from Voyo. Uh, it sprayed all right, but it took a day. It took a day to dry, <laughs> and I mean a day. It took a day to dry. Uh, what I've done since to protect, to make sure, because I've started masking, to make sure it, it doesn't peel any paint off. I've uh, given it two coats of clear, so I'm going to complete the masking, and then I'll spray the green. But. Uh, when I do the green, I'm, go I'm going to I'm going to use uh, that surgical spirit and see it and see what that's like. Anyway, so that'll be next. But I'll show I'll try and video the green being painted. Okay, so see you shortly. Okay, so here we're going to spray the uh, dark green. I've thinned it with acrylic thinners. Let's get the fan on. Get it going and we'll get some music playing.
greens nearly finished now. So, uh, after I've uh, let this dry, oh, I've given it a really good coat by the way, green, the green. And after we've uh, let this dry, we shall spray it with the uh, brown acrylic that comes in the pot. Okay, so here we are. Uh, I'm going to spray this section free and brown, uh, but I've never done it before, and it doesn't go too well, to be fair. <clears throat> also, later on, near the end of this section, I knock over the parts of brown paint, and I put, didn't put the lid on, so then I had to suddenly stop uh, spraying the the, <coughs> the paint and sort that out because it was going everywhere so uh, we all make mistakes <coughs> and uh, that, I did more than one on this kit trust me Okay, so the hurricane is all painted up. Um, the airbrush free uh, painting freehand on the camo didn't exactly work out as planned, so I've had to touch up a lot of the green to make it look like uh, it should. It's had uh, two coats of clear ready for the decals um, the paint that was in those little pots it's like it's, uh, very rough like when you paint when you brush airbrush with a Vallejo paints it's always very smooth but anyway I'll give it a good coat with a future and everything is painted as you can see the propeller done so I'm going to uh, start doing the decals now and it's not going to get much of a weathering I'm just gonna do the panel lines the few that there are and some exhaust staining I think Anyway, so there's only a few decals to put on, so I'll get on with that now, so I'll come back when uh, the decals are on. I know I'm a mourner, and I've, I've mourned a bit about this kit while I've been building it. If you look on here, we're getting up to the end. Right, up, right, so it's all painted, it's all decaled. I've done some subtle weathering. You probably just see the uh, staining on the where the guns are. Um, what have you? Anyway, so it's coming. It's coming to the time where I'm going to put all the final bits on, and then give it a matte coat. Oh, I'll put the glass and then give it a matte coat. Well, I'll give it a matte coat, coat first and then put what's left it. Because it needs some glass in there and then underneath there. So, we're coming up to the end bit. And as you can see, I made the prop earlier, painted it. It's all finished. And it wants me to put it into the nose here. So. And how do you do that then? It won't go in. So I'm going to have to trim that ridge off 
and get it in that way I think that's the only way because it won't go in I know I've got some blue tack on it unbelievable yeah I've got some blue tack on my thumb <laughs> anyway so I shall sort that out and glue the other bits on let's get rid of the uh, blue tack so it's just yeah it's it's cool like having different ways of putting a prop on but do they actually ch build these kits when they get them you know perfect do they actually glue them together and paint them f following their instructions i don't think they do i don't think they do if they did they'd come across this and like get it fixed you know what i mean anyway that's bad to buy so i'll get on with it all right thanks okay so uh, there it is it's finished painted decaled i've uh, done a bit of a oil wash on the panel lines well when i say oil wash it's that time a panel liner uh, i've done a little bit of staining to represent exhaust smoke and gun smoke but that's uh, been very subtle not much so they want to do that so yeah it's a uh, complete um remember i pointed out that i couldn't get the propeller anymore it's not uh, there to uh trim it all down and i blamed her thanks to that well that was actually my blunder because when i looked at the instructions a second time I got that part the wrong way around. But, you know, there has been some things wrong with this kit. So, which, where if you look at my uh, build for the Mustang starter set, yeah, that's a far better kit than this. And, but, I still, I'm still, you know. I enjoyed making it. I can't say I didn't. I, I did enjoy making it. Um, it was a revelation using these little pots to paint with through the airbrush. Uh, when I used this 90, um, I thinned that with umbrella acrylic thinners and a bit of Vallejo airbrush floor improver and that's all 24 hours to dry whereas the other two paints that are thin with surgical spirit they were dry, they were dry within an hour anyway so that's the end for this build if you got this far uh, thanks very much uh, please consider subscribing and giving us a like because they all count and if you have a comment i shall i will reply unless it's something nasty oops uh and if you like the video oh i've already said that i'm not give us a like anyway this is stevie d signing off on the end of this uh earthix hawker hurricane starter set and thanks very much for watching bye for now